Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Sol Zero Mars Colonization. My name, of course, is Obda Potato. We are continuing today. A rocket needs to be refueled. Let us refuel him and send him home. Oh, we don't have enough fuel. We will in about 10 seconds, though. We will in about 10 seconds. Great. Please, please depart. Please depart, Mr. Rocket. A recycling center is ruptured. I am well aware of this. Okay, so, at the end of the last episode, things were really not going too well for us at all. Now, the reason that they weren't going too well is because we had a closed door over here that was very clearly closed, but uh, the colonists decided that it would be an appropriate uh, thing to do to, uh, to glitch through the door and, uh, as a consequence, put our colony in serious jeopardy of being in some quite serious trouble. So... Yeah, things aren't going too well. As you can see, our population is just not high enough to support the colony. But in all honesty, it's really, really good because we managed to get the biology lab set up and we are now in a much, much better position to build some farms. Now, farms, of course, are lovely, actually, in fact, because they only cost one crate and they can give us anywhere from between one to four food and they only take one water. So a farming area, I think we're going to have over... In, uh, in this sort of area, I think we're going to start our, uh, our farmyard production. Farmyard? It's not really a farmyard, though, is it? It's really not. We're going to get a butt-ton of farms, though. That's, that's what I'm sure. Okay. Fingers crossed that uh, our astronaut can stay on top of the repairing of the solar panels. And just to make sure, how much energy does it take? It takes two energy. Ah, that's going to be that's going to be worrying indeed. Let us repair that solar panel. Repair that solar panel? Let us... Oh, God. Please, please, just... Okay, we're gonna have to build a new solar panel. We're gonna have to build it now. Solar panel. Build it there. Water lost due to frozen pipes. Of, of course. Of course. A fire has consumed an oxygen generator. Would you expect anything else? In the ten seconds, in fact, literally the five seconds that we don't have power, and we were shafted hard. Ugh, I hate it when that happens. It really, really annoys me. And the fact of the matter is that our entire, well, most of our problems are caused by the fact that there was a bug, which totally boned us. Oh, that's annoying. That's really, really annoying indeed. But it's okay. It's only a couple more turns away until we can uh, get some more stuff. Let's go for the normal. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's use this strain. It's not going to give us a butt ton of food, but it's going to give us enough for now. And something that we need to bear in mind is we uh, we need to we need to open the doors up to this uh, this biology lab. Now, I think people were actually saying if I rotate this oxygen generator no, in fact, if I rotate this oxygen generator around, then this would increase airflow, and I wouldn't have to worry about anything really. That's totally right. I'm going to do that actually. Let's do that right now. Let's destroy this oxygen generator right here. Let's rotate it around, and uh, we can get rid of... There we go. Let's build an oxygen generator over here. And let's close the doors up there. Let's destroy that crate. That crate? No, let's destroy this thing there. And let's stick it into the oxygen, oxygen generators. That's right. I said it. I managed. Just about managed. Anyway... Oh, come on. Nine more days until we can get uh, get another big rocket. Now, we need a big rocket. We need a big rocket for a couple of reasons. Supply crates, we're actually fine for. I'm not too worried about the fact that we've... Uh, oh, that's worrying. I'm not too worried about our whole supply crate situation. We do actually need to start thinking about getting some gypsum and some clay because we are going to need to actually use our biology lab. So that is something that we definitely want to do. Please, oh please, oh please, let us just get some more colonists. I'm clicking on the rocket thing as fast as I physically can. We need, we need colonists. We absolutely do need colonists. We're also going to take with us a mineral extractor, and then we're going to jack ourselves out with as many supply crates as we possibly can to finish that up. Now, this should mean that uh, this this payload is going to be very, very important for us, because obviously the colonists are going to mean that we're not going to constantly die uh, from exploding oxygen generators or frozen pipes or spoiled food or whatever bollocks that is. Um, but basically, we need colonists to be unloaded as soon as possible. Also, the mineral extractor. 
we can uh, we can start him collecting some resources. So we'll send him over here. You want to go over there, buddy? You want to you want to you want to work? Okay, fantastic. That's great to see that our colony no longer needs anybody else. That's really nice to see. Okay, let's let's stick the mining drill down, and we shall start mining. A colonist has died from thirst. Have you not repaired this fucking? Oh shit! 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 Uh, we need more water. Well, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Fuck's sake! We're actually we're actually on a lower. Uh, we've actually got uh, a, a lower. Are you shitting me? Are you actually kidding me right now? Seriously? We're down to four pe four people. How, where is all this water going? Where where is all the water going? Like, we used to have tons of water. Like, what? Like, I, I don't understand. I don't think I can understand this. This is crazy, actually. You're not unautomated. We need to go down here and build some more water and recycling plants. What the hell happened? What the hell actually happened? Jesus Christ. I mean, I can appreciate the fact, right? I, no. Come down here. Wait down here. There we go. And you need to come over there. I can appreciate the fact, right, that we don't have a lot of water at the moment, but I'm convinced we had more water than this. Fire has consumed the oxygen generator. Well, almost the entirety of that rocket load was a complete waste. Um, a complete waste, actually. A, a very, very large waste of time and effort and energy. But that's okay. Let's let's be let's be chill about that. No, you go and repair this, please. An astronaut has died from thirst. Are you serious? We've got literally zero people on Mars right now. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Um, what the hell? I mean, just go and repair that. There we go. I mean, what can we actually do? What can we actually do? I mean, what? How? Like, I don't quite understand. Like, the whole, I understand how we run out, we ran out of water, right? I can understand how we ran out of water and how, you know, that puts us in a bad situation. But then, I don't understand how we were managing to sustain a level of 11 people and then everybody just dies? Did, like, what, what? Did our farm, was it something to do with our farm yield? I mean, this isn't taking too much water. I mean, I just don't understand. Well, it gives us a good opportunity to open up uh, oxygen to the biology lab and uh, hopefully ensure that this is not a low oxygen area anymore, but that really fucked us. Like, that that was really stupid. And I'm actually going to stick it in two times speed because we've got, we've got nothing. We've got nothing at all. A fire has consumed an oxygen generator. Well, we've got the supply crates to deal with that. Uh, we can actually launch and refuel. Oh, in fact, no, we don't have enough fucking water. Because apparently we just don't have any water at all coming in. Water lost due to frozen pipes. Oh, it would be water, wouldn't it? Um. So believe it or not, it doesn't look like we're actually going to be able to launch a large rocket. Oh, fuck me sideways. Oh, fuck me sideways. That's That's really bad. If we can't launch our big rocket, then that puts us in some fairly large amount of trouble, actually. Well, I guess we can only do the sensible thing, which is launch a small rocket, take one astronaut, I guess, take a bunch of supply crates, well, a bunch of supply crates, nine supply crates, as much water as we physically can fit on board, and then we launch, like... 
I feel ashamed taking a small rocket. I mean, just look at the launch pad. The, the, the rocket is barely filling like a tenth of it in comparison to the big one. This is terrible. This is really unbelievably bad. I, I just cannot believe it. I, 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 I'm incredulous right now. Um, we're going to actually put this down right over here so that we can actually uh, pop you out and get you straight away to build a, uh, a recycling center on this oxygen, on uh, this oxygen, this, uh, this plant over here. This, this plant, this, this cryo tank, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to need to focus on getting water up so that we can actually launch the big-ass rocket. Solar panels need repair and maintenance. Well, in all honesty, I'm not too worried about that at the moment, although that is going to kill us very, 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 very soon. Like, solar panels... Solar panels are probably the, the major cause of death around these parts. Okay. Let's just get water. Just get the water. Just get the water sorted, okay? Water, we need to get sorted. Also, we can take 16 colonists the next time that we actually launch a rocket. That's what we need to bear in mind. 16 colonists is what we can take. Okay, can we send you home? We can send you home. That's great. That's great news. Fantastic to see. We've got a lot of water now. We've got a lot of water. We just... Okay, you need to stop moving. Stop moving, please. Thank you. I did specifically say stop moving. And I clicked on you, and that's why you moved. Understandable. Solar panels need repair and maintenance. Okay, everything is going to start going to shit very, very shortly. Mark my words. Mark my words. Okay. Let's set out some templates. For more recycling centers going on to the side of this. Okay, and then go and repair some solar panels, please. Because otherwise, we are going to have some serious bad stuff happening. Yeah. I'm going to turn you off automate because I really don't want you to complete... Uh, I don't want you to complete these things quite yet. Because as far as I'm aware, they consume two power. And that's not something that I really want to do at all. So we've got not enough power, food supply spoilt. Our food supply and our water supply are both very, very strong at the moment, so I'm not really that worried by it. Uh, in fact, stop up here. Go up here and then fix these ones. Fix those ones first. There we go. Do that. Do that. Fix those power plants first over there. Power plants, solar power things, whatever. Not enough power. I know. I know. I'm really very, very worried. And I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do because that whole water thing, I don't know how we could have got into a situation like that. I, I genuinely have no idea. Okay, go and fix them all up, please. A recycling center is ruptured. Fantastic. I'll put them both on automate then. Okay. That's great. We're almost to the point where we can get another rocket get another rocket to launch up to the stars and assist us. Oh, man. Speaking of rocket launches, let's get this bad boy sent uh, sent home. Fingers crossed it should be all fine. The fact that the recycling centers keep on rupturing, maybe that was what killed us. I like, I don't know. I'll have to rewatch over the footage and um, and actually see what, what did happen because I'm genuinely curious. I, I don't know what ended up being... Uh, being the thing that killed us, but whatever the matter, it's we're we're back in we're back in positive power, and that's important. Also, how are we doing for water? Two point five liters per second. You're pumping five liters per minute. Eleven liters per minute. Water's lost due to frozen pipes. Bit of a bummer. Not gonna lie, bit of a bummer. But uh, that's okay. We shall we shall survive. Fire is consumed in oxygen generator. So how? How are we only gaining 5.1 units of, of, uh, of water right now? Because I've just built an entire new water tank. I've built an entire new recycling center. And I've built two more recycling centers. All of which should be giving me an additional 5 liters, 5 milliliters per minute or whatever. Like, I, I don't understand that. I don't understand how that is working. I don't understand how that is calculated because... 
clearly we're getting we should be getting more than that. We should be, but we're just not. I don't know, is this is this another bug or am I just am I just being like highly delusional? Cuz I don't know, either is technically possible. But it just seems that we're getting literally no water considering I just placed uh, oh, we're the meteor strike over here. If that destroys if that destroys something, if that destroys anything, I will I will rage quit this game so hard, but once again, let me know what you think, because I, I don't know why we're not getting enough water. It, it makes me question question myself. I don't understand how we can't how we can be doing so badly. Genuinely. It's very, very strange indeed. Very, very strange indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, my name of course has been Robert Potato. In the next episode, or at the start of the very next episode, we're gonna be launching our our definitive edition load of colonists, so to speak, because we need them. We need them desperately. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching Sol Zero. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. Tune in next time for some more uh, Mars colony saving adventures. And, uh, yeah. See you then. Bye.